See my Jack Skellington? Ten dollars at Walgreens. Woo! Hi. Sean said hi. Get the front ball. I didn't see the front ball. She's laying down with me. Okay, well, can you take the computer and film it? Just grab the laptop. Set it on your belly. Going for a ride. You can't tell if they can see her or not. Try to tilt it. YouTube, Hi. And you're coming back. Sorry if you get motion sickness. So today I'm going to be recording the much awaited bathroom video. Because everybody's fascinated by how I pee, so I'll start in just a few minutes. How you pees? How I pees, yeah. Okay. Or do you want to know how I pee? She's like, I don't know how you pee. She knows. Yeah. I'm in here every time you do it. Yeah. Alright, so before I dive into the details, um, this is a quick introduction if this is the first video of mine that you decided to watch. So my name is Ananda. I am a 25 year old quadriplegic in a wheelchair. And I am paralyzed from the, I guess, shoulders sort of, well, little neck down. And uh, that is from a brainstem stroke in the year 2000. So there you go. That's, that's how it is. Okay, now normally, uh, as far as I know, I think it's, yeah, a, uh, someone who is paralyzed who can't go or urinate by themselves either are um, cathed with an INO catheter, sorry, in and out catheter, or they have an indwelling one called a Foley. Well, I didn't, for some reason, uh, have a Foley when I first had my stroke. They opted to uh, have in and out calves, you know, every six hours or so. And that is no fun, especially when you're an 11 year old and getting ready to hit puberty. And so you get, uh, well, what they do is they insert a long plastic tube into your urethra. Now, what that involves for a woman or a young girl of 11 is that they have to spread your labia apart and find your urethra, which is no fun. It's, I always attributed it or, you know, called it basically being molested three or four times a day because that's very much what it was like for me. And since I had a stroke in 2000 and didn't uh, get my operation of how I pee now till 2006, I did that for six years. So 365 times six. I don't know what that is. Times four times a day. It's not fun. It's more like every eight hours or whatever I had to pee. So it was no fun. So, in 2006, my urologist performed this surgery that I'm getting ready to tell you about. Alright guys, this is the part of the video where we're going to switch to where you uh, see my screen so I can explain some things to you with the help of Wikipedia. So the first thing that I want to explain is that the overall surgery or the goal of the surgery that my urologist performed was to create a urinary diversion. 
And you can see on Wikipedia it says urinary diversion is any one of several surgical procedures to reroute the urine flow from its normal pathway, which may be necessary for diseased or defective bladder urethra, either temporarily or permanently. And some diversions result in a stoma, and a stoma is a tiny hole, so that can be after whatever okay so that was the goal to reroute my urine pathway so it'd be it would be easier to get calfed and I wouldn't have to be molested three or four times a day okay and um they did a combination of two procedures well my urologist that performed it calls it an ileoconduit. And that says an ileoconduit urinary diversion is a surgical technique usually referred to as blah 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 um, to create an ileoconduit the Ureters are surgically resected from the bladder and a urtericentric anastomosis is made in order to drain the urine into a detached section of the oh no, let me move this section of the ileum, which is a part of the small intestine. The end of the ileum is brought out through an opening, and then in parentheses, like I said, it says stoma in the abdomen wall. The urine is collected through a bag that attaches on the outside of the body over, over the stoma. The bag is changed three to five days or as directed by the stomal therapist. I don't know what the hell that means, but uh, <laughs> when I have to pee, that's what I say. It's, all right, calf me. And I decide how, you know, how many times that happens. Nobody decides that for me. Okay, and, um, okay, so that's what one, the doctor that actually did the surgery called it, a little conduit. And I went to a different urologist for a while. Because I moved. And we will look at what he called it. And I'm sorry y'all have to bear with me. I didn't get this link ready. I was going to, but then I forgot. So, I'm going to open up my keyboard, the on-screen keyboard. Go back to Safari. Go to my open tab. Or new tab and type. Indiana Pouch. And you see keystrokes uh, as word prediction, so I don't have to type. To type the whole word, it comes up with it. Indiana, click it, and it types it out for me. Pouch. There it is. I'll make my keyboard. Go to the Wikipedia link. Say it's purple because I went there yesterday. I forgot to keep it open. Now, this says an Indiana pouch is a surgically created urinary diversion used to create a way for the body to store and eliminate urine for patients who have their urinary bladders removed as a result of bladder cancer, pelvic whatever, bladder extra, extra fee, 
or who are not continent due to congenital neurogenic bladder. And that's what I have, and I believe most quads. If not all of them have a neurogenic bladder, which means it doesn't work. So. And it, uh, basically, I mean, it, sh it means more than that. But that's right. I think it means it doesn't work. So. Yeah, and, um, so, with this type of surgery, a reservoir or a pouch is created out of approximately two feet of the ascending colon and a portion of the small intestine. Like I said, the uh, other one did the same thing. The ureters are surgically removed from the bladder and repositioned to drain into the new pouch. The end of the segment of small intestine is brought out through a small opening. Then what's that called, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? A stoma. Yeah. Sound like Steve from Blue's Clues. So, they didn't create a pouch for me because I still have my bladder. But what they did do is they enlarged my bladder with part of my part of my bowel, and uh, because of that, the small bowel creates mucus, so I have to, after each cath, I have to be flushed with saline through a syringe at 60 cc's, and you pull it back out, and it takes out mucus and uh, other things. Trying to see what, oh, okay. This removes mucus, salts, and bacteria. There. And in the next video, where I will eventually will show you how the cat thing stuff works, you'll see all of that. It's grody. Mucus. I think it looks like wet toilet paper, but anyways. So they did a combination of Indiana pouch. In the ileal conduit urinary diversion. And they actually use my appendix to make the pathway where the urine goes, it tracks it from my bladder to the stoma. They made a little pathway out of my appendix, so I don't have my appendix. And oh, and a lot of Quadriplegics have what's called a suprapubic catheter. I know someone asked me on Tumblr if I had one of those. And since mine is similar, I said yes. Just because I didn't want to type out, you know, sort of, kind of, it's different, it's called this or that. So I'm sorry, I lied. But it's kind of the same thing. Instead of a uh, catheter out, a tube coming out of my belly button like a super pubic catheter does. I just have a stoma on the side of my belly that gets cast three or four times a day and flushed with saline. So, so finally, I did a bathroom video. Yay! So I hope you're happy that I finally did a bathroom video. And like I said, this is part one. I guess the next one will be when we show you how to how we cap. I don't know if we'll do that or not. It depends. We'll see. But um Oh, and I'm not going to forget. I'm going to post all the links below the video so that you can read more about them and stuff like that. So Okay, as always, thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. Bye. Sean put a sheep on my head. Not the first time they have Frankie. Let's see if I can tilt down enough without him falling. So you guys can see him. Nope. You can see his nose. 
That's about it. <sighs> I will. Alright, I'm getting ready to shake him off. Oh, God. See how weak I am? I can't even shake off a damn sheep. <laughs> Come on, oh, there, finally. I bet that was very entertaining for everyone out there. You're welcome. I want them to see him. Look at him. This is Frankie because of his blue eyes. For Frank Sinatra. Alright, back up. You're too close. He, I don't know if you heard that, but he gave you a kiss. And Boris said, hey, what's up? Uh-oh. Kitty belly drum, let's see it. You hear it? Do dum 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 dum. Do do shave it. Shave and a haircut two bits. Moo. Let me kiss you. Kitty paws. Okay, okay. okay. Alright, enough. Alright, talk to you. No kitty tossing.